And I think that um, with the way he plays the game, like, um, you know, picking and choosing his moments instead of like just pressing the grab button or like just trying to find the, his combo starters, I think that's a it's, a, it's a stronger trait for a player to have. Like you look at a Elegant uh, in comparison to Kiarash, for example. It's the same sort of deal as like Biggie and the other Steves. Um, honestly, Tezu kind of does that too, for the most part. All right, well anyways, um, we are starting it off on good old PS2. Joker already almost died. <laughs> It's a very early arson. And I don't really think that Simeon's gonna be able to get too much use out of this because I mean look at the, the, the percent between between Biggie and Saya and I mean, their arson's already gone. Because you kind of just like run away from arson. You don't have to really, really worry about him too much. Yeah, that was a good reversal from uh, from Biggie. Nice 37 percent, 51, 67. How much further can we take it, Biggie? They are just F smashing. Yeah, that will be another stock gone to Miggy. And he has the diamond ready. And he dies in perfect time. I was not to even uh, to use the diamond to start. Just sticking to wood for now. He tries to find the uh, the jump with the the ferret. Might have sealed the game, or still uh, sealed the game, but um. Just builds a diamond in the middle of a combo. <laughs> what is that, Biggie? What is that, Biggie? What is he even doing? Forget what I said about the uh, the whole not being as technical as other Steve things. He's got his got his stuff on lockdown. Not the typical combo, mind you, but he does have the. You know, that backer is just gonna murder Joker. Yeah, he's not quite got the the typical Steve combos, but he's got the the knowledge of the the blocks and the step play. He's got that all down. He's a Biggie is notoriously an FGC player. Um, he plays other fighting games, so he's probably picked up a few things over his years playing other other fighting games. And it's just added it to his uh to his uh his match also gameplay in the form of Steve, in the form of set play. But he's usually lies in the, lies in the blocks and the, the TNC and the anvil and the minecart and the upbeat. It's just flowing together so nicely. Simon with a pretty uh, strong lead to, uh, to start off the game. Um, I think that the the pick of Smashville uh, it was a pretty smart choice. Um, they are minimizing the space between um, between them and Steve at any at any good point. But uh, Arsene coming out at an unfortunate moment, and so they're gonna have less time to spend with the big fella. Very good minecart <laughs> to stop out the uh, the Aegon. I feel like the Ash was just meant to be in the other direction. Oh no, they had reacted faster with that forwarder. Oh, that was a nice roll. 
Oh no! <laughs> okay, they made it back. I can tell they still have their jump. <gasps> no! <laughs> they chose the right option, but then they chose the wrong one after that. Now we have Steve with a stock lead coming into play. There we go. Didn't take it too far. Alright. Not a big, he's just gonna, his, his main goal is gonna be just to, to not, uh, not get hit by the, the scary blue man. And it seems they have succeed, uh, he has succeeded in that. But the gun, hold on. So I think what just happened there, they just shot the, the pressure plate. Interesting. Simon still has a, uh, a somewhat sizable disadvantage. <gasps> that was almost a sock. But yeah, that uh, that gold F snatch will seal out their stock. But compared to uh, to last time I spoke, um, their disadvantage is not not too sizable. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I should just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I think what we can take from this uh from this set is that Joker sucks. <laughs> nah.